Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to Pro Trainees Demo on Highway and Tunnel. I would like to welcome our expert, Mr. Vandit Tyagi, sir, who have jo joined our forces to make everyone industry ready. Now I would request, sir, to start with the session. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, good evening, all. I welcome you all on this uh, course presented by Pro Trainee. Uh, it will be covered it will be covering the basically two aspects of the infrastructure of civil uh, that is the highway and tunnel uh, you must have gone to the demo day before yesterday it's taken by one of our other expert uh, nishan sir 50% uh, of the course will be taken by him and the remaining 50% will be taken by me so what he will be covering uh, the nishan sir will be covering the basically uh, quantity uh, execute quantity calculation of structure. Basically, he will be doing the structural analysis of permanent works with respect to the highway infrastructure. Uh, apart from that, he will be taking the bar bending schedule, MORTH specification, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, and certain kind of lab testing. Uh, the portion which I will be taking, which I will be taking uh, yeah, along with him, I am presenting with you today. So I will give you a demo of around uh, 45 to 50 minutes. After that, you will be, you can ask your queries regarding that. So basically I will jump directly to the lecture. Uh, slide has changed now. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So basically yeah. first I will give a little bit introduction uh, to the civil engineering after that i will be coming directly to the syllabus what i will be taking to you job opportunities and the target audience so basically you all as you all guys know uh, what is the civil and construction engineering hour uh, basically it is divided into four major segments just a little bit uh, introduction to you you all guys already know uh, first first division is the infrastructure devel uh, development of the civil engineering. Uh, what is infrastructure? Infrastructure is basically a kind of structures or the facilities which are there to facilitate the movement of people and goods from one place to another. So what comes under these? Highways, railways, inland port. Inland ports are the uh, structures which are along the inland waterways, ports, uh, dockyard, tunnel, bridges, and airports. Next division is the residential buildings. Residential buildings means the places where we guys live in and we do, we live in that comes under the residential buildings, houses, townships, etc. These all comes under this. Third part is the commercial education and the institution buildings. What is commercial? Commercial means which are there to earn business like the malls and cinema halls. Education means you all guys know colleges and all. Institution means the kind of setup which are there to do a specific purpose like the DRDO and ISRO. Next division is the industrial buildings. Industrial buildings which are there to do a certain kind of manufacturing units like the steel manufacturing plant, Tata units, coal units, factories, etc. Next, I will be jumping directly to the job opportunities. Out of these four segments, we are taking the infrastructure engineering and infrastructure engineering in infrastructure engineering we are taking the highways and tunnel in this course so what are the infra, what are the job opportunities you will get through the infrastructure engineering uh, recently if you guys have gone through the uh, financial budget announced by our financial minister so what she announced she announced that in the coming financial year that is it start, that has started from the April this year. She has announced rupees 7.5 lakh crore to the infrastructure sector. It means 5% of our GDP will be going to the development of infrastructure. And infrastructure basically revolves around the highway and tunnel, railways and all that comes under this. But basically, her emphasis was there on the highway. So what are the job opportunities that, can you, that you guys can get through the infrastructure engineering? Uh, there are uh, government, central government and the state government agencies like the National Highway, CPWD, Border Roads, 
you guys have the different state agencies pwds jal nigams and all so you can go through there like through your entrance state entrance exams or the different competitive exams next is the private sector private sector what this government sector do uh, they guys do they will vote a tender for their work and the private players comes into the picture they will take the tender and do the execution of the work so private sector basically involves contractors construction company so you can get a your work through either in a contractor or construction companies and next is the consultants what are the consultants consultants are the advisory bodies which are there to advise both the private sector and the government sector the guys who get a lot of experience in a particular field like uh, design of geotechnical something like you have to do the design tunneling that all comes under the consulting like some kind of land slide is there so the government player and the private player will hire the certain foreign or specific consultants to do that work next is the self if you will guys get a good experience after 5 to 7 years you can open your own firm as a consultant next i will be coming directly to the course content uh what is the what's the uh, course content so basically basically what i will be doing uh, the the good idea to understand the civil engineering is to align the project work practical work along with the principles this is the best way so that you can get a complete picture so what i have planned i have planned to execute my what i was uh, my project work first i will give you a little bit introduction about myself sorry for that i am vandit yagi as you guys have all did i did my bachelor's in 2015 after that i have experience one year worked in the national highway as under the contractor and for the first four and a half years i will i was i was working in the client on the roads what is border roads border roads is one of the engineering wings of the indian army that is there to the that is there to uh, the development of the roads and highways along the border areas of the country so i will be presenting my case study the project work which i have completed done through that i was working at the project coordinator level i will be presenting you the videos different kind of inputs this is the only way that you will get a good idea how the principles will align in the through that practical orientation this is the best way so this is this is my project case study border roads 65 and 67 rt this is the line i was working under the contractor and under the as the project coordinator level road construction com company so border roads is basically gradually improving and some kind of disturbance is coming in na you have to turn off the microphone one of the is it comfortable for all to listen me hello sir some other disturbance is coming yeah this is the only uh, ma'am post uh please uh, one of the guys has opened this microphone na some disturbance is coming in yaar sir aap mute kar do usko aapke paas option honge ha yaar dekhta hu main now it's okay so i will be coming directly to the course content so basically first is the major divisions of any highway project our highway project basically is divided into the three wings first is the formation cutting second is the permanent structures third is the surfacing what is formation cutting formation cutting is the basically the total formation weight that we all guys acquire acha one thing uh, all you are guys are comfortable in english na 
yes sir okay so what is formation cutting formation cutting is the total right of way through which our movement of traffic pass from one place to another that includes the that also include the shoulder and the footpath so to acquire all the right of way whatever cut and fill activities we do in the plain roads in hill roads we have to cut the hills along the valley side we have to uh, make certain kind of structures like retaining walls so to get the total formation width whatever cutting filling activities we do this all comes under the formation cutting this is the first part after formation cutting we achieve the subgrade subgrade means the bottom most layer of any bottom most soil layer of any pavement second part is the permanent structures permanent structures are there uh, are the structures which are there to support the formation cutting like in hill roads i will give you both the cover i will cover both the hill roads and the plain roads what we do in hill roads in hill roads uh, to achieve the formation width along the valley side suppose we get certain kind of hard rock good bottom we construct the retaining wall re panel to wall re panel along the valley side and along the hill side suppose some landslide is coming to counteract that we uh, construct the to wall and dust wall suppose some kind of water structures is coming in the plains and any so we develop the culvert culvert is a kind of structure to allow the passage of water suppose some kind of suppose express way is going on some village is there in between so to avoid that what we do we make a underpass that underpass also comes under the permanent structures suppose some kind of uh, water structures is what is there or some kind of downgrade structure is there we construct a embankment over which our highway pass so these all kind of structures that we construct for the support of formation work that all comes under the permanent structures third part is the surfacing surfacing to you all guys all know surfacing is the uh, layer over which we, sub, uh, over uh, over the subgrade which is the which is there for the easy smooth movement of the traffic gsb wbm uh, dbm black top rigid pavement flexible pavement this all comes under the surfacing next is the execution on site in a highway project so i will be uh, presenting to you all the three execution part how the formation will go on formation cutting how the how to construct the permanent structures how to do the surfacing keeping in aligned with the project work because if i will not align with the project work you will not get an idea you have to do some kind of practical orientation na? next is the machinery involved in the infra project so basically our infrastructure project basically revolves around the machinery you all guys know as compared to the building building project involves a lot of manpower so a lot of machineries are there in infrastructure project like the hydraulic excavators jcbs dumpers if some drilling in tunneling we do the drilling for the drilling we have the drilling machines manual drilling machines big big automatic machines blasting and all so lot of infra uh, lot of machinery we need in a infra project next is the quantity surveying this is the these quantity surveying and the basic surveying these are the most important topics in any field suppose you go to building construction on anywhere you would need to have a good idea what these two means first i will be taking the i will basic surveying what is basic surveying suppose you you have you are you are working under the contractor as any site engineer any surveyor any even at the project manager level i was at the project coordinator level suppose you did the work you do, did the sir, uh, formation cutting you executed you made some three or four culverts along the certain stretch you constructed three or four retaining walls so after one month suppose the procedure of billing comes into picture so you guys have to have the correct measurement of work because 
measurement of work will directly involve to the billing if one cubic meter of work will not be measured properly suppose 100 cubic of meter meter of work you for you miscalculated for to note in the measurement book so suppose the per cubic meter work is the 5000 so 5000 into 100 5 lakh directly direct loss for your contractor so you have to be precise and accurate in measurement of work so for the permanent structure suppose you measure a suppose you constructed a retaining wall so retain, uh, for the permanent structures you can use any measuring tape you can measure the uh, top width bottom width you take the average you measure the length you measure the height so basically you can take out the volume but what if in in the tunneling project or suppose in the hill roads cutting suppose you cut a 300 meter top height of a hill so you can't measure that with a measuring tape for that you need a good instrument and that is known as a total station so i total station has a lot of use in the civil engineering total station will give you the road alignment you will take the rl and when you will plot in the autocad you will get the different cross sections even in the surfacing you will have to because total station gives you the accurate picture you can't climb on the mountain taking the uh, measuring tape in your hand so total station will give you the precise and accurate uh, measurement of the work so i will be taking the total station in basic surveying next is the quantity surveying what is quantity surveying quantity surveying means you have to get a, you have to have an idea of the what kind of materials you are there you have to procure beforehand in the construction of a permanent structure i will give you an example suppose the what happens na suppose client gives you the reading of both bar bending schedule and the quantity surveying report he will give you the reading suppose you are working as a site engineer he will give you the reading uh, buddy this is the reading of the bar bending schedule of the following culvert and this is the qs report of the following culvert so based on this these are the dimensions of the particular culvert so based on that you have to do your calculations and you have to get the idea that how much amount of sand is to be used in the particular culvert how, how much amount of cement is to be consumed how much weight of the steel that you have to procure from the market this all comes under the quantity surveying next principle of the quantity surveying is suppose you are working at the contractor level so why the contractor will employ you contractor will employ you if you will do the certain profit for them for that you have to use your mind so suppose there you have to do the material cut and some kind of cost benefit ratio these all comes under the quantity surveying next is the subcontracting what is subcontracting so uh, what happens from the client we get a contract suppose our client is national highway national highway has floated a tender of a certain area sir voice is not audible voice is not audible okay uh, is it audible now yes sir you audible perfectly okay suppose national highway has floated a certain uh, tender along a certain land suppose 40 km of land so that tender is taken by the main contractor and suppose under that uh, proceed under that work there are different kinds of sites suppose there are 20 to 25 sites of the permanent works like uh, what our what happens in highway project na it works on the chain edge suppose this is a 40 km stretch so there are 20 to 25 chains there are different kinds of work going on like suppose at chain is 2.2 some foundation work of to wall is going on at 4.5 we have to make a culvert at 6.7 we have to give an underpass so at 7.8 certain formation cutting is going on hydraulic excavators are working so there are different kinds of work so the main contractor will give the work to another small small contractors under certain legal conditions of work these all legal conditions of work will be written in a stamp paper these all will come under the subcontracting 
next is the rar study what is rar this is the main uh, aspect of this course rar means running account receipt running account receipt means the current bill client billing there are two kind of billing na subcontracting billing and client billing subcontracting billing means the billing which we will give to the money which will give to the different small contractors which are working under us rar study means client billing running account receipt this is the full form so client suppose our is the national highway or cpwd what we money we will take that this all comes under the rar study what we will do in this rar study i will be giving you one excel sheet of my project work so we will be studying deeply into that uh, like the different elements of work against that what are the different rates different calculations what are the different deductions there are different kind of deductions in the bill na like ro royalty suppose we procure stones and sand from the particular natural resource so that has to be deducted these are the de deductions education says labor says these all have to be deducted suppose you take certain material from the stores of the client so that that the client will deduct from your bill so we will study the rar study deeply with the help of excel sheet qaqc qaqc is the quality assurance quality control we will be taking the three or four test which are the major ones involved in the highway project like aggregate impact value c analysis of the aggregates uh, fine aggregate testing uh, 20 mm down course aggregate testing 40 mm down course 80 mm these uh, c analysis test these will come under the sir these will come into picture when we will do the surfacing we will do the compressive strength of cube test three or four test jo, that are basic we will be covering that next is the planning and correspondence ab suppose we have to what happens in project suppose we have to do the correspondence so our project at the project manager level on the contractor side we have to do the correspondence with the chief engineer or chief engineer is there in national highway brigadier general is there in the border roads or commander we have to do the written correspondence i will be giving you a letter of mine project work so you will get an idea planning planning what we have to how, how much amount of resources machinery we have to procure in earlier uh, one month planning what the materials we have to procure from the market this all comes under the planning uh, it involve it involves under the project manager and project coordinator level dpr daily progress report so there are lot of activities are going on daily na so you have to keep a record of the what is going on at particular chenet there is a book i will give you a page so to make you understand daily progress report like uh, uh, suppose a particular date what is the date today 9th may suppose on 9th may we get a stretch of uh, 40 km and any road in between suppose i am from rishikesh dehradun so in between dehradun delhi suppose we get a 40 km stretch from the national highway any xyz contractor is working on so in that 40 meter of stretch on a particular day let's say today from morning to evening lot of activities have been done like at chenage 1.1 uh, foundation of kalwat has taken place at chenage 2.3 formation uh, cutting is x uh, is completed with the help of two excavator at chenage 4.6 cut and fill activities was going on at chenage 9.5 uh, we do the culvert panel was there in progress at particular chenage slab of underpass was going on so we have to write in a written way so that at the time of billing these all go along with the bill so at the time of billing or moreover we will get a complete idea of the project next i will be taking the uh, little bit introduction of the tunneling tunnel we will be taking blasting uh, I, i have gone through i am expert in that we will be uh, taking drilling blasting 
removal of material rock bolting short treat basic tunneling system and geological investigation so geological investigation means there are different kinds of rocks in a tunnel na? depending on that we have to employ what kind of procedure is there like suppose th there are different kinds of strata you all guys have gone through the soil and foundation engineering in your btech so there are different kinds of geological strata like soft rock little bit harder rock on a tougher side there is ex uh, extreme hard rock and there are toughest hard rock so depending on that we employ different procedures suppose there is a loose soil rock and the tunnel is to be made so we can directly employ the hydraulic excavator there if there is rock but that rock is not too hard so we can do the rock breaker rock breaker if all you guys know rock breaker is a chisel kind of thing uh, it is employed in the hydraulic excavator uh, i will be coming directly i will there is a picture of hydraulic excavator hydraulic excavator means poklen big machine if you guys have seen those guys who have not worked so rock breaker is used if there is a mid moderate rock and suppose there is a hard rock so in hard rock there is no other procedure except the drilling blasting so this all comes under the geological investigation next is the conventional blasting and the rock support system so conventional blasting i will be taking you deeply there are certain videos coming in next is the daily schedule of this 20 hour course that i will be taking remaining course will be taken by the other expert nishan sir so first day we will be taking the overview of highway elements second day uh, our work execution in highway infrastructure formation cutting third day permanent structures fourth day surfacing fifth day different machine ways involved sixth day qualitative surveying directly total station and its application in the basically what happens now suppose you have to do suppose you learn something so you have to get an you have to have a knowledge how these principles will work in a project so you have to uh, i will give you a picture of the total station and its use in the basically its use in the highway infra and tunneling next is the quantity surveying next is the subcontracting and subcontracting billing next is the client billing rar study with the help of excel sheet two or three days it's a tough topic so depending on your expertise i will be taking the time next is the qa qc to the simple one next is the planning correspondence with various stakeholders i will be giving you some letter uh, of mine at the project manager level with the chief engineer level or the commander of the client and dpr daily progress is both next is the basic tunneling system and the geological investigation conventional blasting this we will be doing in detail drilling auto uh, manual drilling automatic drilling how the explosives are filled in holes complete circuit is set up detonator is employed bomb blast is there that i will be taking you in deep, deeply this will cover two topics first the formation cutting in hill roads and the tunneling both will be covered with that next is the short crete and rock support system short crete means a pressure uh, through a pneumatic air pressure we spray the concrete before short crete we do the rock support system after uh, suppose in tunneling suppose we do the bomb blast after that we remove the loose material with the help of hydraulic excavator we dump it in the dump trucks and it is moved out of the tunnel after that there are certain loose portions what we do we do the drilling and we place the steel in that and after that we take a wire mesh this is the rock support system uh, next is the short crete short crete means the spray of the concrete to stabilize the final structure 
settlement damage water and environment control settlement damage will cover under the what how have to how how we have to do the settlement to the damage is the short creating or can creating through a air pressure there are different kind of machineries quick air pressures it will automatically result in the settlement damage environment control for that we have different ventilators and all next is the miscellaneous topics and career options this i will try to give you in deep so that it will be handy for you in the coming days if any one of you guys is searching for a job there are different i will give you a deep picture into that ah uh, this is the tunnel drilling so what is this this is the automatic drilling machine uh, th this machine was there in our project site i think it's sandvik or eroc so what happens with this machine there are drilling rods drilling rods are of different length suppose 15 feet so we take the we tie the two drilling rod 30 feet depending on the size of the drilling equipment and the dia of the hole dia of the hole depends on the type of the drilling machine suppose we do the manual drilling so the small dia will be there like 22 mm uh, we are we we guys have a big drilling machine at our site it was known as sandvik so what that sandvik will do na sandvik will give a dia of 102 mm and a length of near about 30 to 40 feet so this is a huge hole in the hard rock of the tunnel it is operated automatically there are levers in that so big hole means lot of explosive will be there in that and a huge blasting huge blasting means lot of uh, we will achieve a great length great excavation length so this is the tunnel drilling next is the tunnel blasting after the holes are made what these guys are doing these guys are filling the explosive in the holes after that they will make a certain electrical setup they will employ a detonator and a blast will be there one video for you na from my project you will get an idea how the drilling takes place sir please be loud okay this is the drilling going on this is the open cutting and in tunnel it is the closed drilling closed cutting these guys are making holes in the mountain this is the open cutting in tunnel it will be the closed uh, cutting procedure will be the same this video is from my project after the drilling these guys are filling the explosive in the drilled holes this is the working of hydraulic excavators after the blasting these are removing the this video is from my side uh, i was working at the china border side deep lake border so these are removing the excavated material after the blasting this is the same procedure in the tunneling only difference is the tunnel is the closed one and this is the open cutting
next is the one kind of uh, permanent structure that is the culvert you all guys knows culvert is a kind uh, culvert is a kind of structure that is there to facilitate the movement of water along the uh, highway uh, formation width will be depending on the what is the what is there in the contract agreement signed with the client length usually varies up to the 6 meter and span That's basically nice yeah yeah span basically depends on the different topographic conditions we will once we will join the course we will get a picture another kind of permanent structures are there you guys have gone you must have gone if you have uh, guys have done certain traveling tow wall panel or the retaining wall panel tow wall panel basically is there in the hill side of the hill roads and in hill roads along the valley side we make the retaining wall panel in plain roads there is no such concept the panel basically are the retaining wall panel we will be going in detail how these will be made surfacing so these are the different layers of surfacing one thing i want to make you clear i will have to give you a certain idea of the contract agreement because depending on the contract agreement you will get what we have to do uh, in our project uh, after the formation of the sub grade we have to do 15 mm gsb and about that 100 100 mm wbm and on the top of that sub uh, bbm bitumen layer so it basically varies with respect to the condition topographic condition area and basic thing is the contract agreement what your contractor wants suppose you are tra traveling on a good express way so definitely the layer of bbm or the surface cores will be high because the their design speed will be the on a higher note 100 100 km per hour, per hour will be the near about so you have to provide a good amount of surfacing cores in a express way so it varies depending on the type of situation next is the machinery involved this is the hydraulic excavator this is the major machinery in a highway project second is the dumper tata highway highway its capacity is 100 q max this is the total station the tool basic hero of the surveying we will be taking in detail how to take the how to set up the instrument how to do the four of bearing back bearing how to take the different rls how to save and take in the pen drive and plot in the autocad to get the road alignment this is the one example of the qs and billing left side is the uh, bill of quantities right side is the amount of per cubic meter or per square meter rates multiply to that you will get the amount simple yeah target audience so this course will be beneficial for engineering graduates degree diploma masters experience holders 0 to 5 years in the infrastructure domain if you are guys are working in other domain like building industrial commercial residential you get, want to get an idea in the infrastructure it will be helpful for you any other professional who want to work in infra domain so this is the demo and i will be taking the queries from you if you have any regarding the course content you can ask sir yeah please why the why the transition cars in highway uh, sir ha what yaar why the transition cars are provided in highway yaar yeah, i am not getting you clearly na repeat please repeat why yaar the, why the transition car provides in highway sir can it be related to metro project after doing this course can i switch to metro project because i am working in highway qc and want to switch in metro project 
यार मेट्रो प्रोजेक्ट इज अ डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट ना इट कांट बी रिलेटेड टू द मेट्रो प्रोजेक्ट बेसिकली दिस कोर्स इज फॉर द हाईवे एंड टनल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट एन आइडिया ऑफ द टनलिंग इन अ मेट्रो सो लिटिल बिट यू कैन गेट फॉर मेट्रो यू कैन यू हैव यू हैव टू लॉन्च अ डिफरेंट कोर्स यार प्लीज रिपीट योर क्वेरी यार you all guys are free to ask whatever you want to ask na okay. hello. hello i have given the permission to unmute yourself you guys have uh, like access to this you can you all can unmute yourself and ask your doubts yeah sir what are the type of surveys taken in highway construction look there are lot of kind of surveys we can take na but our hero is the total station why we want to waste our time we can't have too much of time suppose you are working in a field we can't do chain surveying table surveying we don't have too much of time yaar our contract will be go on escalation and contractor will get ruined so basic hero is the total station we will to, uh, the hero i will be taking directly to that Please brief about query and crusher management in highway projects. Yeah, it will be there. It will be there in the course. Query and crusher management will be there because we are have we have a we guys have a uh, crusher of one hundred fifty tph tons per hour along our uh, project. So we are we have we are getting different kinds of aggregates from there sand. so with the help of dump, dumpers we are we have what we did we have taken that material to the sites so this will be covered sir why transition curves provided in highways the transition curves are provided there for for the easy movement of traffic suppose there is a curve there topography suppose you know there is a topography we have a curve after that there is a straight segment so suppose you are driving a car from a curve to a straight path suppose you will drive a car you can't have a judgment sight ssd over sight distance in the engineering so that is the only way is reason we provide a transition curve easy movement of vehicle so please allow microphone yeah microphone is allowed ma'am has already told how highway software road max empower the highway alignment are this course is basically oriented to the field there are different kinds of software na we are not taking into that how highway software road max empower the highway alignment so basically what happens in the uh, the design you will get from the client na at the field level what you have to do you have to do the execution this software work these will uh, you will get directly from the client suppose you are working at the uh, contractor level on the field you don't have to do the designing of bar bending schedule quantity surveying you don't have to design the you don't have too much of time to design the curves you will get directly from the client or the consultant you do have to you have to do the execution for your design part na we will launch a different course because under this time frame na this is lot of what i have told you na these covers client billing client billing will take you will take 3 to 4 hours so it can't be covered hot mix plant setup and ensuring qa qc yeah it will be there anybody who wants to speak what is the use of valley curves are there are different kinds uh, like there is a road alignment so there are different suppose you are going down way so you have to provide the valley curves you are going upwards you have to provide the summit curves so the question is wrong what is the use of valley curves me question should be depending on the topography we have to do the execution depending on the topography we have to do the execution so uh, what one is, question what from is, you from my side uh, how many of you guys are fresher from freshers anybody freshers 
Yes, sir. Okay. And how many of you guys have worked in highway? In two days, tunnel topic cover. Yeah, because tunnel execution cutting, formation cutting, and that I will be taking in the formation cutting parallelly. After that, we will be directly taking the short crete and rock bolting. Tunnel construction sequence and timeline for each activities will be covered. Yeah, sequence so will be there now. Timeline, timeline depends. What happens in any project now? For that, you have to get an idea of the contract agreement. This timeline picture, for this timeline picture, you have to get an idea of the contract agreement. Suppose our contract agreement is of two years for a particular stretch of tunnel or particular stretch of highway. So how much amount of quantity you can take at the earliest, this is the timeline. At the contractor level, you will be the benefiting as much. So basically, it's the game of quantity surveying and contract agreement. Timeline means you finish the work as early as possible, take the quantities, do the billing and get the amount as simple as that. Yeah, this is the good question. Yeah, TBM will not be there in this course. Why? Because TBM, I, am, I, am, I haven't worked with the TBM. TBM basically is simple. TBM, what is TBM? Na? TBM is a basically a kind of cutter. It's a big machine. 150 meter length and 2000 tons of weight. It's a kind of cutter is there at the front and a conveyor belt is there along with the conveyor belt. So it will be cutting the materials and the cutter materials is conveyed from the with the conveyor belt at the back. Why I have not included the TBM in this course because I have seen the working of TBM, but I haven't, I don't have any videos of that because it will be, it won't be good if I will give you a teaching type of view. So basically the procedure which would be involved there is the drilling, blasting, removal of materials, rock bolting and short cutting. TBM, I can give you an idea, but I don't have the exact videos of working. Na. What is the duration of this course? The duration is near about 35 to 36 hours. 50% of the course that I have told you today, I will be taking to that and remaining 50% will be the uh, taken by the other expert. I think ma'am, this sums up the queries of the batch. So let's conclude, you can conclude. I request everyone, if anyone have any doubt, you can ask, sir, sir is available now. This is the last chance to ask him. Rest, I have forwarded the registration link in the chat box. Those who want to enroll. Oh, thank you all. Yeah. You all can go through that, go through that registration link. Uh, the course price is of rupees 3000. But the offer price is 2800 and it's uh, only valid till tomorrow 6 p.m. So I request everyone, those who want to enroll themselves, you all can proceed now and avail the offer. Thank you so much. Anyone having any doubt? We are waiting for next two minutes. Kindly ask your doubts. After two minutes, we conclude the class. Hmm. Sir, is the, is the course is in professional level? Hanji? Is the course is in professional level, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm not clear. Sir, you're not clear. Sir, you're not clear. Ma'am, I am unable to get what he's saying. Na? Uh, I did enroll Metro course. How other course not to affect the duration time? Yeah, this will be taken by the operation team here. Yeah. They will do the timings arrangement and all. So it won't be affected. Time duration clash will not be there. Yeah, one guy was saying something now. Please, yeah, you can do the typing and please repeat here. Yeah. 
So after this, uh, this all course, na, what you will guys will achieve? I will try to conclude. So at the project okay, manager okay. level, yeah, you will get okay. a different idea of the different departments involved in a highway project, like the site engineer department, surveying department, quantity surveying department, basic surveying department, billing department, procurement department. at the project management and project coordinator level i was at the project coordinator level for how the correspondence with the different stakeholders take place you will get a different ideas of different departments working in a highway project highway and tunnel both so what's the outcome this will be the outcome of this course what's the minimum length of highway road a minimum length of highway road depends on the location for minimum length will be there in the hill road hill roads and the top of hills so minimum length will be can be 6 meter i think yeah so if you will go through the leh ladakh road you will get the minimum length 6 uh, 6 meter and that you will find in the hill roads if you are taking the case of the national highways i am not taking the village roads and all maximum length here for the express ways you can take the delhi uh, i don't know what's the length of the delhi mumbai express ways going on nowadays it depends on the there is no fixed rule na it depends suppose our government wants to make a 10 lanes express way and they get the length land land acquisition is the main factor they get the land and the min, uh, suppose we take the 10 meter uh, width of one lane there are 10 lanes 100 meter dividers are there 120 150 meter can be easily be there in the big express ways it varies from place to place okay ma'am let's conclude thank you sir thank you so much thank you everyone thank you for uh, joining our demo session uh, now we'll end the class good night people good night sir good night people oh good night all bye